Let's go here first. That stillness is the key to success, and we all know this already, and it's the very most important concept here in what we're doing in our meditation is to be able to still our mind. Whichever technique we feel best for ourselves to use for the practice, feel free to use that. If you like visualization, it helps you feel calmer, then do that. If you like to use mantras, then do that as well. Or if you'd like to just let go, don't worry about anything, choose to do that. If it makes you feel calm and comfortable, and is able to keep your mind still at a place for a long time, do that, okay? But don't worry if it goes off somewhere, wandering sometimes, don't worry about that at all. Simply just reset when it does that and then bring the mind back to where it feels comfortable. You're gonna be able to continue your meditation further from there, okay? Now, here's where the tip I, all right, okay. So sometimes we have these desires in our mind to want to get more meditation experiences, to want to go further. They are very good intentions, not to be uh, negative about them at all, but they are in a way stopping us from going further very quickly as well. It's all right to have good intentions, but when we actually meditate, we have to be calm and peaceful and just be with that feeling. So be calm. In Thai, we say jai yin yin. Don't rush. Don't, um, don't push yourself, right? Take your time. You were just meditating and just being quiet, calm, and comfortable, right? We're not actually striving for something anymore. We're not searching for anything. Everything is already within ourselves. So. Take your time, be calm, be as calm as you can. Here's another, here's a teaching from our master to emphasize a little bit on that, is that we have no other choices but to be calm. Calmly still our mind. There's no other choices. That means that being calm is pretty much very important and the only way to be able to still our mind. We're already doing amazing, but just to keep our mind calmer and more at ease, not to rush much anymore, you'll get your meditation experiences that much faster. Okay? So we have no other choice. And he says also to believe in, uh, in this technique, meaning that be calm, be comfortable, don't rush. Uh, you can try rushing as well. You can try hurrying and trying to get that meditation experience and see what happens. But usually, or 100% of the time, being calm and peaceful is what will lead you to even better experiences and not to rush, okay? Another teaching from our master is that, oops, uh, just a second. Another teaching from our master is that uh, if we are able to be still and be calm enough be calm enough and are able to wait, then it will be very easy. It in this case means meditation. We all know how to be still already, right? To be able to be calm, relaxed and comfortable. Now, if we can stay calm, just take our time, gather that peace, gather that positive energy inside, our progress in meditation will be that much faster and we can wait for the process to happen. This is similar to planting a tree. Because we can't rush the process. If we want it to grow very quickly, we would have to take care of the soil, right? Order it in a proper amount every day. Take good care of what we can. In this case, if the meditation is probably related to our body, get our body to be healthy and comfortable. Get our mind to be as worry-free as we can. And that's taking care of the water, the soil, the nutrients in it. And let the tree grow by itself. Let our mind softly and gently start to grow its purity or become more peaceful all by itself. And that's it. That's the process. And we just have to wait for the fruit to bear, right? You can't just rush it or pull the tree, try and get it a little bit longer very quickly. Be calm, 
be calm, be comfortable, take your time, don't rush, and you'll get the result quickly, okay? I didn't put this in here, but there's also a teaching from the master saying that if you want to get the result quickly, you'll receive the result not so quickly. But if you're not afraid to take your time to be calm, just gradually accumulate that peace, you will get the result very quickly. Okay. That's the first tip. I have two more, a couple more. Very simple though. The second one is to be content. Being content means that we are happy with what we have, right? Sometimes we have different meditation experiences throughout our day, in the morning session, afternoon session, or at night, or even from different days, comparing them together. There were times that we are able to get really good ones, and maybe this time that we're meditating together. Who knows, it could be even better, or might not as be as good as we would expect it to be. But, but, that, that sense of comparison, of not getting to the point where we want ourselves to be, that's going to give us the desire, the burden on our mind, pretty much. Like trying to push our mind, something very heavy. I'm sorry, not trying to push our mind, but trying to push something very heavy. It could go a little bit of a distance, but if it's something very heavy, you're going to end up tiring your body or even tiring your mind in the process, and it's not going to go very far as well. And then we're going to run out of energy. On the other hand, if we just leave that object, that very, this is just a, uh, a fun picture to say, right? An orange is not very heavy, but let's say that if this was a very heavy object compared to the size of our body, just leaving it be, letting it go, and doing nothing to it, right? That's going to give us more relaxation throughout our whole body and our mind. We're going to feel a lot more freedom from burden. And that usually is what's going to give our mind peace. We're going to be peaceful. We're going to be free from tires. We're going to be free from heavy loads on our mind, trying to get something, trying to work for something. I know uh, in the worldly manner, we have to strive towards our goal. We have to rush in order to get to somewhere that we want to very quickly. In meditation though, it's the whole other side of the coin. It's just to keep your mind calm and peaceful. Be content, don't try, don't rush and then the result will come automatically. That peace, that positive energy will come to you automatically. Uh, such as a decline in our meditation experiences. If we continue to meditate, we'll always gain experience and improve for sure. The only way we won't improve is that we don't meditate. Right? So improve bit by bit. Be content with the amount of peace that we have at that time. Don't compare it to other times. Be ready to start new every time, every session. And just step by step, keep on going. And that, that way we could still our mind more proficiently. And last but not least, in order to go even further with the stillness of our mind, last tip is to be with that peace inside of our mind. Be with that feeling. Be with peace. First one is to be calm, right? To be calm first, to find that peace. The second one is to be content with however much peace we have in our mind. And the third one, to go further and deeper, be with that peace. You could uh, try to, well, trying it, <laughs> just see for yourself, 
Okay, you can try to see for yourself whether or not you all have very good meditation experiences by now. Now, a good thing to check from time to time is whether or not the good emo the emotions from maybe tasting good food, doing something fun, watching a movie, getting excited about things, or maybe some other undesirable emotions as well, sadnesses, or any kind of emotion, compared to this feeling of peace from meditation, from relaxing, stilling the mind, being calm and peaceful. Compare all these feelings. Which one do you feel best with? Okay. Usually, if we have good meditation experiences to a certain level already, we will be able to confirm to ourselves that this is the best feeling in the world, just to be peaceful, to be calm, content, free from burden, free from desires, and just pretty much uh, satisfied with this purity, this positive energy that we have from stilling the mind, right? Well, you could try and see for yourself which is best for us. And when we can do that, when we understand or we can confirm to ourselves that that peace from stilling the mind is actually something that ourselves feel like, that we like this feeling a lot more than the other feelings. And it will make it easier for us to be with the peace, to be longer with that positive energy inside. Okay. And eventually, we'll be able to get more and more of that peace. And within 24 hours throughout the seven days a week, we'll be able to have more time with that positive energy inside. Our meditation is going to grow further and further. We could also think of it as keeping the light of a candle lit, trying not to get it blown out by the wind on the outside, protecting it. Maybe at first, sometimes we put our hands too close, burn our hands, try too hard to maintain it and it's not comfortable, then we release it up a little bit. If we release it too much and the wind blows it away, don't worry. We can always light it back up, right? We could always reset in our meditation. That's where I'm getting to. So sometimes we can maintain the peace for a long time. Sometimes not really, but don't worry about any of that. There's always an infinite amount of peace inside of our mind. We can reconnect to it at any time. We know the technique already. So when our mind starts to leave that peace, go out wandering a little bit, trying too hard, getting some tension, feeling drowsy, reset, come back to that positive energy and we'll be able to continue right from where we left off. Okay. And last but not least, before we begin our meditation, a teaching from our master is that we must have an anchor for our mind at all times. Our mind must be still. Even when we move around, we won't bring negativities into our mind. So being able to be with that peace inside of our mind is also like a protection shield against all the negativities that have potentials of entering our mind anytime. Well, if we're with peace, then no other negativities or undesired emotions will be able to come in and take our mind away from happiness, from true happiness inside. And in order to do that, sometimes we need a good anchor for that. In this case, we're talking about that positive energy. That's a good anchor for the mind to be with. See its importance and you'll be able to keep with your, your mind with that peace more efficiently. Or you could use visualization and mantra to keep the mind with that peace as well. And that is that. These are some of the uh, very good anchors that we could practice. And it will keep our mind calm and peaceful as much as we can until ideally we go to all the time. And that's going to keep our mind happy. We're going to be the source of light that can share that happiness with a lot of people around us and eventually to this whole world. And that's... Right? And when we are ready, 
Let's begin our session by softly and gently closing our eyes. Softly and gently relax our eyes just enough so that our eyelashes touch. And now we feel relaxed throughout our whole face. Our cheeks, our jaws, and let go of our thoughts about our face, the top of our head, and let it be, let it go. And let's move on to relaxing our neck, our shoulders, arms, hands, fingers, all the way down to the tips of our toes. Our torso, our legs, all the way down to the tips of our toes. Make sure every single part of our body is completely relaxed. Take our time. Keep ourselves calm and comfortable. And let's let go of all worries. All our thoughts, all our responsibilities, keep our mind calm, relaxed, and comfortable. And maintain this wonderful feeling with us as long as we can. Taking good care of our body and our mind with this time that we have together. Relaxing every single part of our body, releasing all the worries in our mind, and be with that wonderful feeling, that peace, that tranquility inside. And our mind will automatically gain more and more purity inside as well. automatically feeling cleaner, brighter, purer, more at ease, more with peace. Be with this positive energy. Let this beautiful right feeling continue to manifest, continue to cleanse away all of our worries 
and to grow more beautifully inside of our mind. Be calm, be relaxed, be comfortable. And take from this well of purity that is infinite. Accumulate as much positive energy as we can to fill ourselves with love, with freshness, with coolness, with brightness. with a tremendous amount of peace and positivity. Almost as if we're in a huge treasure vault that has infinite amount of really valuable treasures. And the amount of treasure that we take depends on how much we're able to keep our mind relaxed and comfortable like this. Keep our mind free from any worries and that treasure, treasure of true peace True happiness will continue to enter our mind to be accumulated. And then when we have enough amount of treasures, a good amount of positive energy that overflows, our mind will be able to share with everyone else in this whole world as well. Keep our body relaxed. Keep our mind calm, relaxed, and comfortable. And if there's any place where you feel you like to rest your mind there in this vast space, And feel free to rest your mind at that point. Calmly, softly and gently. Keep your mind still, relaxed and comfortable. At that place of tranquility. And that way your mind will automatically, softly and gently come to a standstill as well. Or at any moment where you feel you like to let go and don't worry about anything, not even that place, that spot, and feel free to. And enjoy accumulating more and more positive energy inside. And eventually we're going to have brighter, clearer, cleaner mind until a point comes where we will start to be able to see or experience that clarity. And we'll be surprised or we'll be proud of ourselves of what we could achieve from just relaxing our body and mind, keeping it calm and still, and keep it going. Keep on being relaxed, calm, and comfortable like this. And our mind will become even stronger, even more stable with peace and positive energy inside 
until a point comes where no matter what situations we face, whatever would try to take our mind away from this peace inside, our mind would be drawn and will be less prone to any wavering. We'll be able to have peace and tranquility no matter the situation. And that when it, that's when it becomes very useful. A beautiful tool to help you reach all your goals in life while having happiness inside and helping other people find peace and tranquility as well. But for right now, let's just accumulate as much peace and tranquility as we can. Be relaxed, be calm, be comfortable. Be relaxed, be calm, be comfortable. You can even ask yourself if you like this feeling or not. If you're practicing correctly and there would be no doubt in your mind at all that this feeling feels really, really good. Just enjoy. Continue to enjoy this feeling. And your mind will automatically continue to be more and more still all on its own. So let's take this time and keep ourselves relaxed and comfortable. Be calm and peaceful. And continue our meditation together in silence for this time being. <laughs> 